guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mary, aka A Wholesome Discipline. And today is uh, another in our series where we're doing the series within the series. So our new nurse plus Pilates. We're mixing it up. And I love a good mixed up workout. And so does your body. So today is going to be about your arms, guys. We really don't think about the arms getting a lot of attention in a, a traditional Pilates workout, but actually there's quite a few moves that are really great for toning and strengthening your arms, front, back, sides, biceps, triceps, you name it, deltoids. And, um, you know, it's not going to be strictly Pilates because, of course, this is a hit session. At least our warm-up is going to be hit focus. So you're definitely getting a little cardio in, and then we're going to move into some toning. And if you're new to Pilates, this is a great way to introduce yourself to some of the movements. Um, we've done the abs, we've done the back, and now we're doing the arms. So if this sounds good to you, please share, like, and subscribe. I need subscribers, y'all. And there's a little bell once you're subscribed. Hit the little bell icon and it just lets you know when I upload. I'm trying to do these every single week. And of course, you know, life gets in the way. So <laughs> I'm trying to be consistent, but it'll just let you know when I upload as soon as I do. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below in the box. This is a two-way street. And um, let's get into it. Grab something to drink, grab something to sweat into, and let's get moving. Okay, guys, so here we are in our starting point, wherever that is for you. Of course, me, it's on my big orange lily pad. And you know me, or maybe you don't. Hi, welcome. I'm a side tapper. Turns out I've learned a lot about myself this year. I'm a face toucher. <laughs> I'm a side tapper. <laughs> if side tapping feels weird, this isn't a great way for you to move your body around. Feel free to march it out or even jog in place. Feel free to put on some shoes. I do these barefoot uh, barefoot because it just feels good. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hobbit. Okay, so I'm gonna touch my face some more and I'm gonna move from side to side. <laughs> That's my warm up. No, I'm, I, I, I kid, sort of. Okay, so we're just moving the body. Let's move the shoulders since we're moving into the arms, getting into the arms today. Let's make sure that we don't have any excess tension that we're bringing with us, our baggage, into the workout. Good. Shake it out. <clears throat> and let's swim forward. Nice and slow. With the arms, you really want to open up the shoulder blades behind yourself. Good. Excellent job. Okay, so we're going to start our warm-up with the walkouts to plank. Y'all know I love a walkout. So feet are wider than your shoulders. I'm going to take a deep breath in. And exhale, tailbone out behind you with a straight leg, soft knee. Walk out nice and slow to your plank. We're going to take a push-up today in our walkout. Easy does it. Now your push-ups do not have to be super low. But I do want you to have your elbows at a diagonal. Good, nice and easy. Take it slow, coming up with that flat back. Tailbone leads the parade here. Come humming and going. Nice and easy. Well, easy, <laughs> air quotes. Good. Let's do one more. Breathe. Awesome. And come up nice and slow, roll yourself up, and let's come back to side tap. Good job. All right, so now we're gonna step into a nice wide squat, plie, if you will. We're gonna take a deep, almost like a goddess pose from yoga. We're gonna press through the pinky toe side of the foot, and we're gonna take little power bounces, little power, woo, breathe. All right, the arms. We're going to make little circles. It's like a stop in the name of love. Pinch the invisible pencil behind your shoulder blades, really opening up the chest. Breathe. Good. Yep. 
The power, the power squat Ooh, gets the blood flowing, gets the heart beating. We're trying not to lock out the elbows here. Good. And now we're going to reverse those hands. So it's kind of wax on, wax off, breathe. Good. Just a few more. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Shake out the arms and straighten the legs. Walk them in and march it out. Let the blood flow back into the legs. Breathe. So we're going to do three exercises twice for our warm-up. Okay? All right. So our next one, we're moving in. Y'all, this is a classic. Stepping the feet out nice and wide. We're coming into star. Once again, pinch the invisible pencil. And we're going to move into a skater lunge. Nice and slow. So in your skater lunge, the tailbone goes out behind you. One knee bends at a time and the other leg straightens as you bring your body weight over that heel. You want to be able to lift your toes. Good. Back stays flat. The core is engaged. <sighs> Inhale to the center. <sighs> now you can go quick once you kind of get the hang of it or you already know how to do it. Otherwise, go nice and slow. You're still getting plenty of cardio work here. And of course, we're thinking about the arms today. We're getting really strong. Perceived resistance is a big deal. Creating that resistance. That back arm, I want you to feel the tricep muscle working as you lift it up behind you. And of course, you're kind of bringing that deltoid muscle to the fore here. As you stretch into that little twist, we're keeping the chest open through the entire movement. Good, we're almost there. Three, two, one. Good job. Do it, do it again. <laughs> Deep breath in. Walkouts to plank and push up. Good. Nice and slow. And something about push ups, keep going. I want you to almost feel like you're squeezing the mat towards, towards itself. You're kind of bunching it up between. Between your gun fingers, your, your uh, pointer, and your thumb, if that makes sense. Really brings it into the pectoralis in the chest. Good. Nice and slow. Take it easy, guys. Strong. Breathe. Just a few more. Hang in there. Good. And one more. Nice and slow. You need to flatten yourself into a good plank and come back up slow. Well done, you. Good job. Breathe. I'm going to side tap. Let the blood flow. Let the heart send out that blood. Good. And we're going to step out wide. Okay, open the knees, get into your little, little bouncy squat. So in the power squat, you know, you're just not straightening the knees and you're not going as low as you can. You're right in between, right? Good, breathe. And we're gonna take our circles, pinch the pencil, and the bottoms of your shoulder blades really activating the scapular muscles. <whistles> breathe. Good, really feel the work going on in the quads. Your tailbone is slightly tucked, so your belly's pulled in. And let's reverse the arms. I'm always clockwise, counterclockwise. I'm kind of basic. <laughs> I've noticed. Breathe. Nothing wrong with that. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. One, well done. And roll the shoulders, shake it out, straighten the legs. <sighs> Breathe. All right, skater lunge, let's do it. Coming back into your star and bending one knee and stretching yourself over to that foot. Now, if you can get further out with the hand, even better. But your goal really is to just kind of get near the toes. Good. Breathe. I want you to really feel your arms here, guys. 
strong and straight. Once again, caring not to lock your elbows, keeping a little softness through that elbow joint. I'm gonna say that a lot today, I have a feeling. <laughs> and it's mostly just to remind myself. Yeah, I developed kind of a clicking in my elbow about six months ago, and I've been really careful. And it's helped to, to, you know, to not lock it out. Good, really strong through the heel, guys. You're gonna feel this in the glute mostly. Breathe. And of course, you're getting a beautiful stretch through that adductor, you know, inner thigh. Good, three, two, and one. Good job. Roll the shoulders and side tap. Well done, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna work on our arm strength. Now, <clears throat> of course I want you to lift heavy. Of course I love hand weights, but there's a lot of stuff we can do in the toning department that you don't have to have any weights for. And of course, resistance bands are also great. But you don't have to have any equipment to get some really good strength in your arms. So first things first, we're gonna bring the feet so that they're, I don't know, just below your shoulders, okay? A little bit wider than your hips. And we're gonna bring the feet at a kind of a natural opening. The toes are slightly open. And um, this is gonna be a version of serving tray, okay? We'll do traditional serving tray in just a moment. But in this one, we're bringing the elbows into the sides, opening out wide, and exhale. So it's inhale out, exhale down. So you're gonna feel this in your biceps and through, the, and through the middle of your back. Beautiful for posture. And once again, when you straighten those elbows, don't lock them up, keep them soft. Inhale, exhale. So this is a wide serving tray. It's almost like you have two plates and you're here, hun. Okay, and we're gonna add a little squat just for funsies. Just a little air squat, nothing, nothing major. Tailbone beneath you, lower belly engaged. And so this is the move. Good. Keeping the heart lifted and open. So you'll notice a lot of these arm exercises we're, we're doing today really emphasize posture. And if you could have told me when I was a slouching, angry, probably smoking 15, 16 year old that I would be <laughs> on this thing called the internet wild about praising good posture, <laughs> I would have looked at you crazy. Good. I probably would have looked at you crazy anyway. I was kind of my my bag. <laughs> All right, last four. Good. And try not to hunch forward, right? Keeping, keeping everything lifted. Three. I think I just added one. Two. And one. Well done. Nice and slow. All right, now, traditional serving tray. We're going to bring the feet beneath the hips, toes straight ahead. And in serving tray, if you Google Pilates arms, you'll probably see this, this one show up to the party. So in serving tray, you're reaching out as far as you can. You're feeling a gentle stretch between your shoulder blades, and then you're pulling back and the elbows er, right at the ribs. Thumbs are pointed towards the walls. So the palm is open. There's an internal rotation through the wrists. Talk about a posture builder here. Good, really nice and tall. Inhale, straighten and lengthen and reach. Exhale, pull it back slow. That's the work guys, inhale, exhale. Now, of course you could put a, a small weight in your hand. You don't need it. You don't, unless you really want to. <laughs> There's a beauty in this. Slow and steady. Good, easy does it. So now we're gonna add a little, you guessed it, a little air squat. So you're gonna sit the sit bones back as you reach the fingers in front of you. And you're gonna really feel that stretch between your shoulder blades. We're gonna hold it for a breath. And then exhale, come on up. You're drawing a line from the floor 
to where the wall and the floor meet behind you. That lower belly muscles pulled in and exhale. You want to be able to lift your toes through the movement. You don't have to keep them lifted, but just you want to be able to. It just reminds the body that, oh yeah, my weight is actually in the back side, <laughs> not the knee side, not the front. Good. So this is a beautiful, slow, methodical, very Pilates, thoughtful, <sighs> strengthening. You're going to feel this down your latissimus muscles, down the sides of your back. Beautiful. Let's do five more. You got this. You got this. Inhale, exhale, really lengthening through your muscles, not just stressing them, not just tensing them and flexing them. We're lengthening and stretching out. Getting that deep strength. Good deal. And let's do one more conscious of the belly, pulling it in. Inhale, exhale. Well done you. Let's shake out the arms. Still a little tense, right? Let's shake it out. Good deal. Okay, last one like this with this narrow squat. I'll show you the arms first. We're gonna reach behind us and squeeze a ball. This is a beautiful, beautiful tricep squeeze, basically. So you're not just trying to squeeze the ball, you're trying to lift it away from your tailbone and squeeze it. You're getting a beautiful shoulder stretch, chest opener. There's so much good stuff happening here. It's great for your posture. Feel your belly pull in. And we're gonna squeeze the ball as we sit. We're gonna hold, we're gonna hold this squat. And it's just a little, a little pulse, 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 squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze the Charmin. I know, I know I'm dating myself. <laughs> People are like, you mean the bears, Charmin? I was like, no, I mean Mr. Whipple, what up? I think rest in peace. Hmm. Anyway, the backs of the arms are lit up like Christmas trees. And if they're not, come up a little, a little higher. There you go, breathe and squeeze. We're gonna stay here just a little longer. Deep breaths, guys. Really sitting into a kid, kindergartner's chair, if you need a little extra. Pulling that lower belly in, protect your lower back. Nice and flat. We're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Straighten up, roll. Once again, we're making big arms, big arm circles. Well done. Yay. Yay. Good. And let's swim forward. Breathe. So the swimming motion from standing, you get full range of motion. What you don't want to do is lose your neck <laughs> ever. But in this movement, we're keeping the shoulder blades down the back and their little cubby holes where they belong. Once they start, get, they're hypermobile. Once they start moving around, ew, that's not great for your rotator cuff. So we're just going to keep the shoulder blades down and swim forward. Good. Breathe. And last one. Good job. All right, guys, we're going to take it to the mat. Okay, guys, so we are here on the mat. We made it to the mat, if you will. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna do a roll up. And we're gonna, yes, the roll up is, you know, mostly a core exercise, but our focus today is going to be on what's happening in the arms and shoulders and back. So I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. So if you are unable to uh, complete a roll up, I'm gonna show you the modification that's for you today. Okay, so otherwise, just do your best. We're gonna ironically start our roll up from a roll down. <laughs> so getting a nice flex in your feet, uh, zombie arms out in front. We're gonna bring the arms overhead. Now this is where I want you to really feel and connect down your back 
okay, through your shoulders and down into the latissimus muscles. If you're unable, if you feel like you, you, you're kind of hunched here, that's going to be your work today. Okay, one of, one of, one of your, your, your jobs <laughs> is getting tall. You want to be able to stack your heart on top of your pelvis, right, and the hands over the heart. So you get really long and tall, drawing the shoulder blades down, and you're going to feel an engagement through your deltoid muscle right here, your Michelle Obama. That's the work here. And then we're going to zombie out in front, okay, strong arms, long arms, and then your work is to round the back and try to lay your spine one vertebra at a time from bottom to top. So the lower back makes connection and then shoulders, and then you're gonna bring your arms overhead. Try not to let them touch the floor, okay? So they're still in your peripheral vision, and we're gonna tuck the tailbone beneath us, press the lower back into the floor, inhale deeply, feet are flexed, exhale, pull up, someone's pulling your arms up into that L shape that we started in, so we're back. And then ideally, you link and sync this movement slowly with your breath. Inhale, laying the spine down one over a time, keeping it there. Exhale, come on up, nice and slow. Now, if you're not able to execute this like I'm doing right now, first of all, no big deal. Don't beat yourself up. You're going to work there. You're going to get there. You might just do some crunches now because it really is probably more than likely um, a belly issue. Those abdominals just need a little strengthening. If you're so close, I'm going to show you how to ladder walk your arms. Once again, great for your arms, up your legs to get you there. So we're going to bend the knees. If you're, this is only if you're having trouble. And on the exhale, you're going to swing and grab and walk, 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 and bring the arms up. We're not going to forget about this arm situation here because this is important. And then gently release yourself back down, same way you came up. All the same rules about the spine, apply if your legs are bent, okay? And then eventually you'll be able to do it without help. So I want to really focus on those strong arms using your muscles. When you are on the floor and you come up, someone's pulling your fingers up. Maybe we pull my finger. Don't ever pull said finger, guys. Spoiler alert. It doesn't end well. Good. Take it slow. Just a few more. So I told you, while it's arms focused, you're going to get other parts of the body working. Of course, the roll up is just a classic for your abdominals. Good, good job. We're going to bring the arms over uh, straight ahead and take a forward fold. Breathe. Beautiful. Drawing the shoulder blades down and relax your chin in and breathe. It's also a nice stretch for the backs of the legs. We did a lot of squats and such already today. Good. All right, guys. So from here, <clears throat> we're going to work on our tricep strength. One of the things I love about uh, some of these Pilates moves and uh, is that they're great for your triceps. So we're going to bring the hands behind you. I'm going to show you how to do this. You can either do reverse tabletop or I call it ironing board reverse plank. And yes, there's a lot going on through the whole back of your body in this exercise. There's a heck of a lot going on in the arms. This is a great, great way to strengthen your arms. So we're going to sweep the hands so that the fingers are pointing in front of you. If you're feeling wrist pain through this, you might open up the fingers slightly away. That's okay too. And what we're going to do is draw the shoulder blades down the back, really pinch the pencil. And we're going to bend the knees and press into a tabletop. All right, so just getting here, you're going to feel the tricep muscle in the back of the arm working, working hard, okay? And we're just going to do tricep uh, dips and lifts like this. So you're going to bend the elbows and bring the high knee down. Straighten the elbows, don't lock them, and bring the high knee up. Good. Just like that. 
and bend them just a little bit. I mean, it's not a big move. That's the thing. It's pretty subtle. <laughs> I mean, it's big in the hips, but it's much smaller in the arms, but the arms are working hard. And your gaze goes from the wall in front of you to the ceiling. You're keeping your head in line with your spine. Good. We're almost there. And you're just kind of rocking through the, you get land in the heels and then rock to the entire foot and back. Let's do three more, just like that. Good. You're also getting a nice stretch through your shoulders and actually through your biceps as well. And last one. Good deal. And release to the floor. Well done. Now we're going to straighten the legs. We're going to try this. We're all going to try this together. If this doesn't work for you, shake out your wrists. If this doesn't work for you, come right back to what we were just doing in that tabletop lift situation, okay? So that's your, that's your mod. All right, so we're gonna stick those, stick the girls forward if you, if you got them. <laughs> and we're gonna straighten the toes with a point. And now we're gonna lift, and it's the same move, okay, through the arm, but now the legs are straight and it's a little more intense. You're trying to bring your toes to the floor. Good. So you can see why it's reverse plank. The same situation with where you're looking, straight ahead, and then lifting to the ceiling. Good. Now at no point are we locking the elbows out. I want you to put that, that locking energy into your triceps. Good, it just goes from very bent to slightly bent. Good. If this is too much, come back and bend the legs, okay? It's fine. And eventually, we'll be able to do it with the legs straight. We're almost there, you guys. Think about your arms. I know there's a lot of other competing <laughs> parts of the body for your attention, but we're on the arms today with our minds. Good, we're almost there. Three, hang in there. Two, toes to the floor, lift your hiney. And one, good job. We're gonna stretch the arms overhead, hallelujah. Take a bow into that forward fold and really get a good flex on your toes to stretch through your calves. Good. Now, in your forward fold, if you're able to get a hold of your big toes, I want you to do that and use your awesome biceps to pull yourself in. Maybe it's the sides of your feet. Either way, it's biceps pulling in. Maybe it's ankles. Still biceps pulling in. Breathe. Long neck. Good. On your next inhalation, we're going to sit up nice and tall. Okay, so our next move is going to be, probably no surprise to anybody, coming into a tabletop. We're going to do a Pilates plank. So in our Pilates plank, we are taking it from the elbows. Okay, so elbows to the floor, palms facing down. This is really much more of an upper back situation than an arm situation, but I'm going to show you how we're going to change that. Okay, so elbows down, we're going to step into plank. Now, if coming into plank with straight legs, slightly wider than hips, is too much, you can of course take your knees down and still get an amazing bit of work done, okay? But if you can, we're gonna stay on the toes and we're gonna come up, up, down, down. I'm leading with my left, up, up, down, down. If this is too much, just hang in your plank, down, down, up, up, down, down. We're switching which we're leading. So right, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. You get the idea. Hand comes directly beneath your shoulder. We've got one more. Up, up, down, down. Good job. We're gonna release the thighs to the floor and relax into a sphinx. Sphinx pose never feels as good as it does after up, up, down, down from plank. It feels so nice. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. 
All right, so in your sphinx, we're looking straight ahead, the elbows, and you might have to wiggle them just a little bit. Sometimes they get a little wide. I want them directly below your shoulders, forearm and hands pressed into the mat, and you're pushing the mat away and opening. Let's take a beautiful neck opener while we're here. It's so lovely. Gently looking up, catch a fly or two, open your mouth. Good, beautiful job. All right, try not to lose your neck. <laughs> There's that active pressing away. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do a cobra push-up. Release your chest to the mat, and we're gonna bring the hands so that they're beneath the shoulders, and we're gonna press into cobra. So you're pressing the palms into the floor, elbows are in really close to the ribs, and you're in cobra. Now, some of us are only able to come to a low cobra for various reasons, and that's okay. Whatever your cobra is today, the elbows are bent, the shoulder blades are down the back. Breathe. Good. And now we're just going to, once again, focus on your triceps. Press the mat away. Peel the heart and the belly off the floor if you can. Looking straight ahead. Inhale down. Exhale up. And the closer in you bring those elbows, the more work is concentrated in your triceps. That's what we want. It also takes some of the pressure off of your elbow, which is also something we want. Legs are just relaxed out behind you. I don't know if y'all can hear the, the boom crash. I live across the street from a quarry, you guys, <laughs> and one of the largest military installations in the world. So <laughs> every now and then when I'm editing a video, I can hear a little boom. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it. It's crazy. Usually it doesn't bother me very much, but every now and then I come home and all my pictures are crooked. Lord. Okay, last three. You got this, guys. Hang in there. And if you needed a break, don't, don't be hard on yourself, okay? It's just a matter of getting stronger. That's all it is. And take your last one. We're going to end up in that cobra, and we're going to press the sit bones back. And take a beautiful stretch. Relax your forehead down to the floor. And breathe. I'm going to fix my hair. We knew that high bun and a very clean head of hair wasn't going to last long. <laughs> and by we, I mean I did. Okay, so take your beautiful child's pose, such a beautiful stretch. And when you do that pressing in of the elbows and that kind of dragging the mat in, you're really getting a nice stretch through your triceps, which is what we want. That's our goal. Okay, speaking of tricep. We're going to uh, lower ourselves down, come into plank, and lower yourself down slowly to your tummy so that we are in prone once again. And now we've got the heart on the mat. We're going to reach back and once again squeeze the Charmin, <laughs> right? Squeeze the Charmin. Let's lift the legs and just take a beautiful locust variation. Beautiful. We're just going to hold and breathe. Hold and breathe. And you're squeezing that ball, and you're trying to push the ball to the ceiling and back towards the heels. So it's like a thing for your back here too. Good, inhale and exhale. Good job. We're gonna swim the arms overhead and back to that squeeze. Swim the arms overhead, shoulder blades down, lots of space between your ears and your biceps, and then sweep and squeeze. Good, if you're feeling extra, you can do a little swim with the legs. It is not necessary. I usually do just out of habit. <coughs> <laughs> I guess it's a good habit I've gotten into, but it is not necessary. This is all about the upper body here, guys. Breathe. Good. Full range of motion through your shoulders while still keeping the shoulder blades down in their little cubby hole. That's, that's a trick, you know? It really is something you have to build up to and work towards. But your neck and shoulders will thank you later. Good, squeeze the tricep. We're almost through it, guys. Good, last three. Last two. And take your last swim. Good, and let's release the right cheek to the mat and just let yourself melt into the floor. Breathe, feel your heart. Hopefully your heart kind of picked up a few beats here. Picked up the pace. Good, slow, deep breath. All right, 
And looking forward, we're gonna catch ourselves beneath the shoulders with the hands, elbows in, and we're gonna roll the shoulders back first. Shoulders kind of lead the deal here. And we're gonna press the mat away, peel the tummy, and we're back in our cobra. Good job, deep breath in. And exhale, let's take that beautiful stretch for your arms. Oh yeah, and of course, you know, child's pose. You can open your knees a little bit if you need to to get that air. It's all about kind of resetting. Good, drawing the shoulder blades down. Breathe. So that's basically it, guys. I hope you had a, a, a decent time <laughs> through the work today, coming into a cross-legged position. We'll just do a couple little stretches for our arms. I want you to bring your right arm across and, and hold on, oh, I don't know, just underneath your tricep here with the left hand, kind of above the elbow. And you'll feel it, breathe. Drop the chin and breathe. Good. And you know my feeling about the stretches, at least, at least three deep breaths per stretch is at, at, at minimum <laughs> what you should be doing. I know sometimes we're in a hurry and it's like stretching is like the last thing you wanna do. All right, grabbing this side. Good. Breathe. You might even have to kind of tell your shoulder to relax down. Relax. Although I really don't like it when uh, somebody tells me to relax. You relax. Breathe. Good. And we're going to take another shoulder roll back. Shake out the arms. We're going to reach the hands behind, interlace the fingers. Bring the palms together if you can. If you can't, you're gonna square out the square out the fingers behind you, and just breathe. We're gonna drop the chin into the chest. Take a deep breath in, and then we're gonna bring the uh, knuckles towards the floor. Pitch a tenth. Hey, and press the head, <laughs> the heart forward. Looking up, breathe. Beautiful chest expansion. Good. Good. And of course, we can't do this without doing the classic tricep stretch. I know we did a little of that in the child's pose. We're going to bring that left elbow over head, and you're going to bring the left fingers down the spine. And with the right hand, gently, guys, gently stretch it. Breathe. Now, if you are in a full hunch territory, try to, try to sit up tall. Breathe. Good, one more deep breath. I'm glad I remembered to shave my pits, y'all. <laughs> Good, and other side. I really don't care. If you wanna grow out your armpits, I don't, I don't care. I just, uh, every now and then, you know, I personally, no, it's not happening. Deep breath, but no shade. If that's your life, you live your life. One more deep breath. You go, Glen Coco. Good, and shake and release. We're gonna cross the left leg in front and just take a gentle twist through the back. We did a lot of back today. I know it's kind of hard to do the arms without the back. Deep breath, looking behind you, but not leading with the chin, leading with the shoulder. Good, one more deep breath in. Big belly, exhale, twist to pull the belly in. And other side, inhale tall, exhale twist. Really, don't be afraid to use that knee for a little leverage. Good, deep cleansing breath. And gently rolling back to center. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this helpful. Or if you just ate a sandwich and watched me stunt on the internet, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> have a beautiful rest of your day. And as always, stay as positive as you can and stay moving. I'll see you next time. Bye.